You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> Anytime I touch the tripod. Oh, usually she runs out of the room. This time she ran towards me. Wow, you're really coming a long way, baby. Luna has decided to bless us with her presence today during this video. She never, ever, ever wants me to hold her when I'm recording. So I don't know what's going on right now. I don't think you can see her, but if you hear some weird mouth sounds, that's what's going on. All right, folks, we are back for another favorites video. I feel like I haven't done one of these in so long, but I've had a running list compiling for a while now. It is time to make it happen. I feel like the 2020 year end favorites video is right around the corner. I know it's a couple of months, but it feels very close to me with how fast this year has gone by. Is it just me? I know it's not. Anyway, I've got a bunch of favorites to share. It's kind of all over the place. I've got a snack, I've got skincare, I've got clothes, makeup, of course, all kinds of stuff. I'm finally giving you another Spotify playlist for those of you who care. I will have that linked down below. I always like to release a new Spotify playlist of what I've been listening to or what my like mood has been. I don't even know what I mean by that, but <laughs> I always like to put these out with my favorites videos. So that will be in the description down below if you're interested, but let's go ahead and talk about the stuff. First up, let's talk about my lashes on my face right now. Maybe one of the most noticeable differences on my face right now, and I've gotten a ton of questions about these lashes since I started wearing them. I got them maybe a month, maybe two months ago, and they're the Ardell Magnetic Liner and Lash, and these are just little half lashes. They're little accent lashes, and these actually come, ugh, is kind of annoying. Actually, it's really annoying because I can only half recommend this. Absolutely, I will say the lashes are on my favorites list. I've gotten so many questions about them. I've worn them over and over and over again. And I feel like magnetic lashes have a longer lifespan than your regular glue on lashes because you're not constantly peeling them off and peeling the glue off and all of that business. And like I said, the lashes absolutely would recommend, but this comes as a lash and liner system. And this particular one comes with a gel liner, like a little pot of gel magnetic liner. And I don't recommend that. I don't like that at all, which really sucks because I have yet to find these half little accent lashes from Ardell, the magnetic kind, without the liner. And it's annoying because every time you want a magnetic strip lash, you don't also want liner. Like I've got some Kiss liner that I had left over from an old set and like I'm good for a while. I don't need the liner and I especially don't need this pot liner because I don't feel like it worked very well. It didn't work for me. I wouldn't recommend it, but I do really, really love this lash and I've gotten so many questions about it. So I wanted to include it here. I wanted to wear them. I feel very fancy with them on. I have, I have nowhere to go right now, but feeling fancy. Luna just heard Grant do something. Grant, I think she needs you. She's really cold and so she's sitting in my lap. Go get him, Lou. She needs you to hold her. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next up, this one is a full favorite. I can absolutely vouch for this. This is the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pin. I have it in the color blonde. It comes in a bunch of colors, but what's really awesome about this is obviously it's a very easy brow pin. It just like almost goes on like a liquid liner, but it's a little bit more transparent and it comes in brow colors and you use it on your brows. But it also has three individual tips like that. So it's really, really easy to make little fine brow hair strokes. And it's also really efficient because you're filling in your brows you know, three times as fast basically. And it's just super easy. This has become an every single day favorite. I use this and then I go in with my CoverGirl brow gel just to give it a little bit more stick. And I love those two things together. This has become like an instant favorite. And I would absolutely recommend this one over the Milk Brow Pen that I used to use because that one unfortunately kind of broke down over time. It had the three tip technology, but it just kind of broke down and lost its shape a little bit over time which was very unfortunate and this one is much more stiff and it's not showing any signs of breaking down or changing shape or anything like that so I'd absolutely recommend this one next up for lashes I feel like we're getting through this kind of quickly and I'm really proud of myself I'm gonna to try to keep up this pace lashes this is the semi new hourglass unlocked instant extensions mascara this mascara is so good it is so rare that i'm like blown away by a mascara like 
Obviously, I have to use my waterproof mascara as a first step because I have very straight lashes and to keep my lashes curled, I have to use a little bit of waterproof, but going in with this after as like my main mascara, I instantly fell in love, which is saying a lot. It just looks so good. It builds up without getting chunky. It has kind of a tubing effect, so whenever you take it off, you see like sort of like the remnants of lash tubes, if you know what I mean. And it's just so good. I haven't fallen in love with a mascara like I fell in love with this mascara in so long. It's just amazing. I almost like I'm kicking myself for falling in love with this one so soon after doing that mascara favorites video or like that trying your favorite mascaras video, if you remember that one. I'm still using some of the mascaras that I discovered in that video, but this one has just become the absolute favorite. Like when I am wanting to have like a beautiful lash day, this is the one I reach for. It's just so good. All right, next up on the skincare front, this is the Paula's Choice niacinamide 20% treatment. And I actually fell into the trap of an Instagram ad. I don't know what happened, but I saw an Instagram ad for this. It was a sponsored post and I instantly ordered it. I was like, yes, I absolutely need that. I think the main two things that they were advertising was that it will fix like saggy pores. I had never even seen those two words put together. Never felt like it was something I needed to fear, but now saggy pores is something that is in my brain, whatever. That's not really what I got it for. Other thing that they were advertising was that this could work on bumps. Like, I don't know if it specifically said milia, but I have a problem with milia, stubborn milia on my face. It comes up out of the blue. I have a lot of milia and I do all kinds of things to try to fix that. And I found some things that work, but I could definitely use more help. And I felt like this could help. It has not taken away my milia, unfortunately, but I noticed right away on the days where I use this product in the morning, there is a visible smoothing. I can also feel a smoothing of the texture that I have right here. This is mainly where I get my milia and like little bumps and stuff, but I kind of kind of have them everywhere to be honest. But when I look in the mirror, I can see it's smoother. It's crazy. And honestly, I don't even know if that's the thing that they are trying to advertise, but it's working. It's doing something amazing and I love it. There is so much skincare out there that is just a complete scam. I feel like I'm at the point where it's just, I read these claims and I'm like, whatever. Yeah, right. And I don't even know how I got taken by that Instagram ad, but I did. And I'm so glad because this visibly does something for my skin like day of when I use it. And I'm really impressed. I would absolutely recommend it. Does it help my saggy pores? I don't really think so, but it smooths in a way that I've never seen before and I'm very impressed. Okay, next up the foundation I've been wearing more than any other foundation actually since I did my video that I did on this foundation, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I haven't used any other foundation except for my powder foundation or just like no foundation. But when I'm reaching for a liquid foundation, it is this one. I have fallen in love with it. As I did that review, I was definitely really, really liking it. I was impressed with it. I was impressed with how it stood up to the mask, to the heat, to the, my oily skin, just all the factors that I was throwing at it. It did really, really well. And I was using a brush when I did that video and I used it with a brush for a very long time after that. But more recently, I've been using my hands. I saw a video where someone applied their liquid foundation with their hands and they were just doing their makeup really, really fast. And I was like, why don't I do that? Why don't I try that? Why, like, why do I always use a brush? Why do I have to do that? And I started using this with my hands and somehow I like it even more with my hands. Who knew? Like, <laughs> I feel kind of dumb for this, but I feel like it applies even better with my hands. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I feel like it has like a better longevity. I feel like it looks smoother. It doesn't look as like cakey, which I don't think it looked cakey, but it just looks a little less heavy, if you know what I mean. I don't know, I've just fallen in love with it even more. I love the packaging. I love that it's a squeezy tube. And yes, it's on the pricier side, but I feel like it's totally worth it with the amount of product that you're getting and with how it performs. So that's what I've been wearing anytime I'm wearing liquid foundation. It's been this one. Okay, next up, lips. This is the Honest Beauty Tinted Balm in Summer Melon. I wanna get more shades of this because I really, really like it. You know, 
I don't really love lip colors. I am very, very, very critical of lip products, lipsticks, just any of that because I get so annoyed with lipstick and lip products so easily because if it's moving around, if it's gathering in the corners of my mouth, it's disgusting. I hate it. I want to avoid it at all costs. I just need something that's comfortable and it is basically like a my lips but better. And this is what I have on right now. I've been wearing it a ton lately and it's just like a really nice sheer pinkish glossy but not too glossy product. I really love it. It's not anything crazy. But you guys know my commitment, my love for the Revlon Balm Stain way back in the day. It's gone now. I, I know you can get it from some places here and there but like it's over. It's okay, but I am always kind of trying to find a replacement for it in my heart. And this one is very nice. If you like that kind of product, I would definitely recommend this one. Also, I'm realizing maybe I should have talked about my waiver in this video, but I feel like I put my waiver in a past favorites video. Do you guys want a tutorial or like a mini tutorial for how I've been doing my hair lately. I keep seeing comments here and there about that, but then at the same time, I'm like, it's so easy. Does that even need a video? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you wanna see like a wave tutorial? Because I've been using my waver constantly for the past, I don't know how long. I don't know what happens. I wash my hair and then I immediately use my waver and then like ride it on through for like three days at least. <laughs> I'm just in love with it. Okay, next up, a non-beauty product, but something that I have been wearing almost nonstop. I don't know if you've noticed in vlogs, on my story, I've been wearing this skirt and the skirt that I'm wearing that you can't see down here almost every other day. This is an Amazon find. I absolutely love this skirt. I love the color. I love that I can wear it with long sleeves, short sleeves. I could probably wear this with a sweater when the time comes. It's just that fall in Texas is not that cool. I don't need to bundle up. I don't need to wear leggings every day. I don't need to wear jeans. And if I don't need to wear jeans, I'm not gonna wear jeans. I like to be comfortable. I like to wear shorts, but like denim shorts in the fall feels kind of weird. This, however, does not feel weird. It is the perfect color. It's so comfortable. It kind of goes in at the waist, but it's comfortable and elastic. It hits me at the right place. It would be maybe a little bit longer on you if you're shorter than me. I'm 5'11". Here is the skirt that I'm wearing right now because I know you can't see it. It's basically the exact same skirt, but in a different print. It's kind of like an olive, almost army green with a speckly spot. I don't know, kind of like a reptile kind of vibe. I don't know what you'd call it. I think they call it dark green on the listing on Amazon. Both of these were very inexpensive and I've gotten tons of wear out of them. I absolutely love them. I, it was, it was a surprising favorite even to me. I got them not really thinking about it and then now I wear them like every other day. Okay, next up, let's talk slippers. I got these from Target. I included them in my fall Target haul and I love them as much, if not maybe more than I thought that I would. They are basically an exact dupe of my J. Crew slippers that I got a couple of years ago. Those are gold, they're metallic, so obviously a different color. These also come in a few different colors. I think they come in gray, maybe cream and brown. They also come without the bow or with the bow. They are fur lined, not like fur fur, but just so comfy, so cozy, so perfect for wearing around the house or if you have to run out and get the mail, take your dog out, something like that. They have a nice sole on the bottom and they're just so comfy so perfect and a total dupe for the j crew slippers i don't remember how much those j crew slippers were because they were actually a gift from grant so i didn't buy them but i can guarantee you these are a fraction of the price and they are just as good if not better because obviously they're way more affordable. I am just obsessed with them. And if you're in the market for some new slippers, I would absolutely recommend these. And they're cute, right? You think they're cute? I think they're cute. Okay, now for real, oops, moving on. <laughs> these sunglasses, I get tons of questions about these sunglasses. I've had them since the summer. I also got these on Amazon. Sadly, unfortunately, maybe I should not even be recommending them right now because I can't find this exact color on Amazon anymore. I think they're sold out, but they still have them in black and they also have them in tortoise shell. And from a different seller, I also found them in a bunch of different shades. So I will link all of those in the description down below. They're really just cute sunglasses. They're oversized. I think they were about $14 and 
I don't know. I don't really feel like sunglasses have a season. I guess I'm just not that into them to have like different sunglasses for different seasons, but I thought these were cute in the summer and I feel like they totally transition into fall. They cover up a lot of my face and I got a big old face. So that's kind of what I'm looking for when it comes to sunglasses and these absolutely fit the bill. Okay, now one of the last like physical things I have to show you are these Yasso sea salt caramel greek yogurt bars these are popsicles i don't know if i've ever shared a popsicle in a favorites video but these are absolutely worth it i've tried one other flavor since then it's like a caramel dark chocolate something something but this is where it's at this flavor is so good get them and get them now i think because they are greek yogurt maybe they're like a little bit more healthy oh they have a bunch they have chocolate chip cookie dough that sounds good. That sounds my speed. Okay, I totally shouldn't have said this stuff about it being like healthier. It's not healthier. It's just a different choice basically because it's Greek yogurt and it's also gluten-free. The taste is just so good. That is the only thing that matters. That is the only thing I'm promoting right now. They just taste so good. The caramel flavor, I just love it. I don't know if I've ever had a popsicle as good as this popsicle. I have had a lot of popsicles, okay? These are just so, so, so good. Okay, I actually totally lied to you. There is one more product favorite, the Tanologist Self Tan Drops in Dark. This is for face and body. And like with any self tanner that comes in drop form, you add this into a moisturizer. So if you want a little face tan, you add it into your face moisturizer, say like the night before, that's what I like to do. Or you can add this into your body moisturizer and it gives you kind of like a gradual tan, or at least that's my experience. I still really like to do like mousse self tanning like when i want like a tan tan but if i'm just looking for like a little bit of like a glow this is what i go for and i use this probably once a week maybe once every other week i absolutely love it and before i was using this one i was using the isle of paradise i still really really like that one but this is a more affordable option i don't like the dropper as much but I feel like for the price, I feel like it's worth it. I think these are like $10 cheaper and you can also get these at Target. So they're a little bit more accessible depending on how much you go to Target. Okay, and the last two things that I wanna add to my favorites list are like TV things. So not actual products that I can show you, but the first thing is The Vow, the show The Vow on HBO. It's a documentary series about the Nexium cult. I felt like I knew the basic story of the Nexium cult, but there is so much more to it. And I have fallen in love with this show. I'm watching in real time and really kicking myself because I wish I could just binge through all the episodes. As I'm recording this, it's not done yet. I don't know how many episodes are in the full series, but right now it's not done. And I'm like continuously on the edge of my seat because I want another episode. And since I started watching that, I started listening to the Uncovered podcast. It's like an older season that I hadn't listened to about it. And that fills in even more blanks. It's all just so interesting and it's all so current like there are developments coming up like even like yesterday someone was sentenced and like I don't know it's just such an interesting story and we've just really been enjoying it and I would absolutely recommend it if you're into cult stuff true crime all of that it's all balled up into one and it all basically just happened so that makes it even more interesting to me and the next thing is kind of a weird one. It's an app. So we just got a new TV not too long ago and we don't have cable. We have like all those streaming services and I haven't had cable for a long time, but I've talked to you guys about not having cable and not spending money on cable. I did like a uh, things I used to waste money on. What did I even call that video? <laughs> cannot remember right now, but I talked about not having cable for a really long time and not wasting money on cable and, or things I don't spend money on, doesn't matter. So yeah, haven't have a cable in a very long time, but I do have like a soft spot for TV. I love TV. I love turning on the TV and just seeing what's on and they just like serve it up. You know what I mean? You don't have to pick, you don't have to know what you're going for, which is like a blessing and a curse, yes. But I downloaded an app on our TV called Pluto TV and it has some crazy channels that I really appreciate. It has like an 80s channel, like 80s Rewind. It's all 80s movies, a cult films channel, which is just all the movies I love basically. <laughs> it has a channel where they only show the Twilight Zone, 
the hills actually those those like mtv channels those like switch around here and there i don't know i have just really really appreciated having this app it's kind of a glitchy weird app it doesn't always work perfectly i'm not suggesting it on those premises but like if you just like to turn on like an older movie like a old audrey hepburn movie or something in the middle of the day as like a background thing like when you're cooking or something like that I would absolutely recommend this app. It's completely free. There are tons of channels, there's tons of options, and they kind of change around semi-frequently. It doesn't seem to have a schedule to me. Oh, there's also a Mystery Science Theater 3000 channel. Is that beautiful or is that beautiful? I love it. I really, really appreciate it. And I don't know, I don't think I've ever recommended an app like that on my favorites either. Anyway, those are all of my favorites I have to share with you today. I would love to hear what you are loving lately. What are your current favorites? Feel free to share in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. You can also find me on social media everywhere. It's Leanne Says. I love talking to you guys over there, especially Twitter and Instagram. Come and find me, come say hey. As I'm recording this, I'm getting ready to do an egg retrieval and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be happening next week. So I'm talking to you from the past. So it's probably already happened by the time this video has gone out. Thank you guys so much for your support. I'm always updating you on my Instagram and your messages. It means a lot to me and I really appreciate you guys. And I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling as this video goes out. Hopefully I'm feeling great. Hopefully I'm recovering well, but um, I just wanted to say that I appreciate you guys and Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Hi, what's going on? She just ran up here like a ghost was chasing her. Are you okay? I'm not gonna hold you, I'm sorry. Her tail just slowly stopped wagging. Oh my goodness. So you have to cuddle her. Oh.